so now we are going to continue with the next topic in the same chapter that is atomic structure the topic is electronic configuration when you go for electronic configuration what do you exactly mean by electronic configuration that is distribution distribution of electrons in increasing order upward arrow indicates increasing in increasing order of orbitals or energy levels is simply called as electronic configuration electronic configuration is simply called as electronic configuration if you take if you take uh, the nucleus of an atom and uh, if you take first shell second shell third shell fourth shell and so on and in the first shell say here this is the first energy level second energy level third energy level fourth energy level and so on so in the first energy level here the principal quantum number is 1 here the principal quantum number is 2 in principal quantum number is 3 and principal quantum number is 4 so here what is the orbital assigned for the first energy level means it is 1s the orbital assigned for second energy level is 2s 2p and the third energy level with principal quantum number 3 3s 3p 3d and fourth shell that is 4s 4p 4d and 4f and so on so that means these are all various energy levels all these are different energy levels 1s orbital 2s orbital 2p orbital 3s 3p 3d 4s 4p 4d 4f these are all different orbitals wherein which the electrons can accommodate actually here when you are going for the electronic configuration what you have to notice is what you need to notice here is that is the accommodation 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 of electrons in each orbital in each orbital that is given by s orbital can accommodate two electrons p orbital can accommodate six electrons d orbital can accommodate 10 electrons and f orbital can accommodate 14 electrons this particular point you have to keep it in your mind and here when we are going for the electronic configuration distribution of electrons into various orbitals actually also depends on an important diagram called molus molus diagram in this molus diagram what you are noticing is in the molus diagram if you take that is 1s i am just continuing the molus diagram here if you go for molus diagram 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d 4p 5s 5s 4d 5p 6s 4f 5d 6p 7s 7s 5f 6d 7p and so on so here when you are distributing the electrons when you are distributing the electrons for multi electron species when you are distributing the electrons from for multi electron species we should follow this order of molus diagram in this molus diagram first you are going to fill up first you are going to fill the electrons in 1s orbital then you will come from 1s will come to 2s from 2s you will go to 3s 3p 3p to 4s 4s to 4 3d 3d to 4p again 4p to 5s 5s to 4d after 4d 5p after 5p it is 6s again 4 4f 5d 6p then again 7s 4f 7s then after that 5f next 6d next 7p and so on so here when you are writing the electronic configuration this molus diagram if you go for the molus diagram molus diagram is very much helpful in understanding the electronic configuration for various elements but uh, whenever but whenever you are trying to write the electronic configuration for multi electron species you should follow uh, once some set of rules like the first set of rule here is 
whenever you are writing the electronic configuration whenever you are writing the electronic configuration you should follow nlx method what is exactly nlx method an nlx method is nothing but here n represents the principal quantum number n represents the principal quantum number l represents the orbital in which the electron is placed l represents the orbital what orbital it is nothing but azimuthal quantum number azimuthal quantum number and x represents the number of electrons so suppose for example in this nlx format if i take 1s say 1s1 then here 1 stands for 1 stands for principal quantum number s stands for azimuthal quantum number whose value is equal to 0 and uh, again power of 1 stands for number of electrons that is x number of electrons 1 is x then s orbital corresponds to azimuthal quantum number l is equal to 0 azimuthal quantum number l is equal to 0 and again 1 stands for principal quantum number so that means every orbital every orbital is governed or designated by three quantum numbers two con two important quantum numbers one is principal quantum number and the other one is the azimuthal quantum number and uh, the power of the numeral which is shown here in the orbital represents the number of electrons and this number of electron spin is actually governed by the spin quantum number if only one electron is there then that one electron in the given orbital can undergo clockwise spin or anti clockwise spin for example here in this particular orbital in this particular 1s orbital you are finding that x is equal to only one electron but this one electron can have a spin of either plus half spin or it can have minus half spin frankly speaking here when you speak about the electronic configuration for multi electron species here we should follow electronic configuration for multi electron for multi electron species species obeys should obey all three rules all three rules those three rules are that is you can take rules of electronic configuration electronic configuration three rules one is half bus principle half bus principle one is half bus principle second one is Hunt's rule of Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity and uh, all is exclusion principle these are the three important rules which we are supposed to follow the writing of electronic configuration and when you speak about the half bus principle this half bus principle speaks about n plus l rule when so when the electrons are being distributed when the electrons are being distributed into various orbitals the half bus principle must follow n plus l rule what does the half bus principle say when the electrons when the given number of electrons are distributed into various orbitals or various energy levels of orbitals the electron should first enter into the lowest energy orbitals then the electrons must enter into the higher energy orbitals or before filling up of the electrons into the higher energy orbitals the electron should be first filled up into the uh, lower energy orbitals which is obeying the rule of n plus l where n is the principal quantum number and, as, and l is the azimuthal quantum number this is the meaning which is given by half bus principle